Hey guys, Chris Dunn here, aka the Boogeyman. Happy Memorial Day 2024. It is the Sunday before Memorial Day. I'm in the shop working on Mama Boogie. This video this week is about updates from Mama Boogie. I'm going to show you what I've got done under the car. We're going to talk about these badass trailing arms and a little bit about the rear end. Um, so, but also remember that it is Memorial Day weekend and remember what Memorial Day is all about. So, here we go. Let's talk about some of the things we sell that we're putting on this car. First off, let's just talk about a kit we sell, which is basically we sell you build-it-yourself ladder bar. I call it a trailing arm because a ladder bar looks like a ladder is the reason it was named it. Was. So we're going to call them trailing arms, but they work like a ladder bar. We, we machine a bung like this right here, um, and we machine this other bung. Now, this is for three-quarter fine thread, hime, and this is for five eighths, and you, you know, you can board us a three quarters if you wanted to. Basically, we sell you this and this, minus the hime, and you can make your own trailing arm as long as you want. You know, it fits standard four inch and a half by three, 11 gauge rec tubing, which I just, I've had them on the boogeyman since day one. I've never had a ladder bar issue. I've never had a flexing issue. They're super rigid. Car always, that is the best 60 footing car. The most consistent probably ever that went through the SEG. So we sell just this bung kit so you can build it yourself. We also sell an actual trailing arm kit that's lightened. Okay. So this is a 42. So from the center of this hole out is 42 inches. That is the same trailing arm that's on the Boogeyman, and it works perfect at 42, okay? So we sell this lightened already with these cool holes that are machined in, not lasered. They're that accurate, okay? We also can sell you um, one without holes in it, but you can go to your local steel supplier and get them, but we can sell them to you. So cut the link, or we can sell you one of these five, at 60 inches long, and if you want them with the holes at 60, that's kind of not like a special order, but we can do that. Um, they all fit our brackets that I showed you last week. Everything fits the brackets. Now, let's switch gears a second. This is the trailing arm for Mama Boogie. Now, I did not put lightning holes in it because I'm going to weld it up on this side. I don't, this is for a road car. So I don't want it, you know, getting grime and dirt and dust and nastiness inside the tube. So I'm going to weld this up so it's a solid tube. And that's what it's ended up being. And if you look right here, this is what this has turned out to be. This is our little trailing arm for Mama Boogie. This is our turnbuckle, which will set pinion preload. Um, you know, we're not drag racing, so I doubt we'll be setting much preload. But that's what it would work as. And then these brackets right here, we sell them with our ladder bar kit. So basically what you do with this bracket is you weld it on wherever you want. So we'll sell you bungs and everything. And you can make this bar yourself, whatever length you want. If you've got a big long trailing arm here and you want to come way up here with your bar and you've got plenty of room under the car that it clears it, then you go right ahead. That, that would work great. So I make kits universal so you can tune them how you want. But we can also make them however you want. So my goal today is I am going to tack a lot of this stuff up. Um, probably going to TIG some of it, TIG tack it. And then I'm going to hang the rear end today. I got to finish my cross member up. I got, I'm going to take it back next door on that big flat table, clamp it down, do a little bit more welding on it, put some plates on the end, and I'm going to stick the cross member in hopefully tack it in hardcore tacked in today um i'm not really worried about getting it 100 percent welded in but i want to get it tacked in enough that it'll stay because i'm not going to 100 percent weld it until i get them frame the frame connectors up and tacked in place so i can weld everything out at one time so if it pulls around it just kind of pulls equally so i'm fixing to show you a video a walk around of, of mama boogie um i appreciate you guys like i said every video Please like, please subscribe, please hit the notification button, please share out with all your friends. Um, like I said, this channel is about learning and, and, and some entertainment. 
Uh, we'll be testing the boogeyman here in a couple of weeks. I'm fixing to put the engine back in. I've just been busy. I ain't even had a chance. Um, we'll get it back in and we're going to go do some no prep backside testing because we've got some of them races coming up. And we're probably going to have to make a decision here in the next month. Do we stop with no prep and get ready for drag week? I got to make my mind up while I want to go to drag week this year. And I, I, my gut's telling me I want to go. So I'm probably going to end up going. But this year we're ahead of the game. Car's ready. So basically we have plenty of time to get ready. Trailer's sitting here ready to go. We're probably got to make, I got to make a decision sometime next month in June um, by my birthday. Because if, we, if we're going to go, we're going to go, you know, to be successful, not just go to be there. Um, and go to finish and hopefully place good. So if that's the case, we, we need plenty of time for, you know, testing and road run, and, you know, road testing and drive from here to maybe Carolina Dragway and, you know, convert the car, make some passes and, and get ready for quarter mile stuff. Um, so I, next month, I'll know that. Um, I'm going to tell you, I'm about... Mm, about 90% sure we are, but I'll let y'all guys know because then some of the videos can be us getting ready for drag week, doing some street driving and what and, and stuff like that. And I, I mean, I had the most fun. The no prep is so much fun too, but it, it is a toss up between drag week and the no prep. Um, the no prep is just an equalizer. I mean, that is the truest to me form of drag racing right now is an equalizer. You can take an aspirated car, a nitrous car, a blower car, a turbo car, and put them on a track. And believe it or not, an aspirated car can outrun a turbo car. But it's all because you're you're racing the track, um, and that's what's what's appealing to me. So, um, happy Memorial Day weekend from the boogeyman here, Chris Dunn. Um, see you guys next week. Take it easy. All right, we're going to try something here a little different. I use a GoPro a lot, but I'm going to walk you through with the iPad. This is the drive passenger side fender well. Uh, pretty much had it done for a few months. I did some modification yesterday, uh, moved some stuff back, and knocked some stuff back, and I got to uh, weld up two plug holes right there. Um, basically, that's for just, just for strength. Uh, what I got done yesterday more than anything, is I've got the reinforcement plates in, and that's where I'm going to move, you know, I'm going to build off of. I've got all of that in yesterday. This is our cross member right here. I made it on the table last week. Um, basically, inch and a half by three, 11 gauge. That is our trailing arm bracket. This is our hoop. Um, basically, I'm going to put threaded holes right under here and right there, so you can put a, a, a removable a removable plate. Okay, so the dry shaft will be totally captured. Um, hopefully, I can get this tacked up hard today, get it tacked in, and hang the rear end. Well, then. This is the passenger side. I got it done yesterday. All right. Got it in, tucked, welded. Um, I'm going to seam seal a lot of stuff, so I'm not completely 100% happy with it. But, you know, this ain't a, my customer. Or my, this is my car. You know, and I let a lot of things go yesterday that I probably wouldn't let go. I never would let go on a customer car, like the way the weld looks. You know, because trying to get all that old undercoating off yesterday was a bird. Now, I've got these badass frame connectors from Auto Metal Direct. Check these things out, guys. They totally mold to the floor. And they're about 11 gauge. So what I'm going to do is trim them to fit because they'll butt into my, my cross member, if you can see under there, and weld up solid, which would be great. My goal is tomorrow's Memorial Day to roll it off this lift, turn around and put it back on and set the engine and transmission. Now, you probably already know this if you kept up Mama Boogie. I welded in a Mustang 2 kit in Mama Boogie um, a couple of years ago. You can even see, look at all the cobwebs. We're going to get all that crap off. But we're men on a mission. This bad boy 
is going to be running here in the next few weeks. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it this summer. So we got to fix some, a hole in the floor here. I got my patch pretty much done there. Got to finish welding out here. I got one fitted there and weld it and it's ready. And that's pretty much it. So that's our big old tires. 17 by 11 rims with a 13 inch wide. Mickey Thompson. We love them Mickeys. Boogie Man got the Mickeys on it. We love us some Mickeys. And of course, this is our goodie table. So uh, basically, you know, steering, coilover shocks, brakes, name it. We've had this stuff since, just damn, I believe since COVID. But uh, stay tuned next week, guys. I don't know what the video will be about. It may be about Boogie Man. It may be about Mama Boogie. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome Memorial Day weekend. Chris Dunn, a.k.a. The Boogie Man.